All right, I have a, a pretty straightforward question from Logan here. Y equals negative 7x plus 14. How do you graph this? <laughs> okay, Logan, let's see what we can do to help you here. Um, there's actually a number of different ways to graph that, but let's, um, let's do it using an XY table. So if we start by laying out a T graph here, or a, a T table, depending on which term you prefer, we'll mark down a couple of values for X and see what value what associated value y has depending on what number we give x. Now before we actually start picking values, I want to take a quick look at the equation itself and see if we can sort of predict what some good numbers might be to fit on our graph here. You'll note that my chart only goes up to 8 in each direction, so I want to try and figure out sort of the lay of the line without going off of that graph if I don't have to, because it's easier to see where things are when I can count the, the little tick marks in each direction. So if I take a look at your equation, this says that whatever number I choose for x is going to be multiplied by negative 7, and then I'm going to add 14 to it. So if I pick a really little number, like, like 1, say, then I'm just going to have negative 7 times 1, which would be negative 7, and I'll add 14 to it. Well, negative 7 and 14 is positive 7, so that's just barely going to fit on my graph right there. What if I pick something a little bit bigger? then this number would get to be a little bit bigger, it would be more negative. So when I add this relatively large positive number to it, then we're going to actually get closer to zero, which is closer toward the center of my graph. So although I usually tend to choose um, like negative one, zero, and positive one, I think in this case I'm going to stick with some positive numbers um, and start with 1, because we, we look like 1 was definitely going to be on our graph. But let's do, say, 1, 2, and 3, and see if that all fits on our graph based on the information we have here. Just a little bit of sort of educated guessing there. So if we start with x equals 1, and we put 1 into our equation, then we're going to put 1 in where x is, right here, and we'll have y equals negative 7 times 1 plus 14, so negative 7 times 1 is negative 7, and negative 7 plus 14 would be positive 7. So yep, that's the one we sort of guessed at right there, so we should have a point right there. Then if we move on to the next point, that's positive 7, move on to the next point, we'll get y equals negative 7 times 2 now, plus 14. So now we have negative 7 times 2, that's negative 14. And if we add 14 to that, we're going to get 0. So we have another point at x is 2, y, which is the up and down, is 0. So that one's right on the x-axis right there. We can get a better color for marking on our graph here. Yeah, that shows up a little better. How's that? Yeah. Okay. And then finally, we have 3. So we have y equals negative 7 times 3 plus 14. So that's negative 21 plus 14 is going to be negative 7. So we have a point then at x is 3, y is negative 7, which is clear down here. So yeah, looks now like our points are all on a line, which is what we definitely were hoping was going to happen, since this is definitely a linear equation. And we just need to connect all three points with a straight line. And there you go, Logan. Equation has been graphed.